Hey y'all. So this week I am going to show you how I did the acrylic pour on my new desktop. If you follow me on social media, you will know that I did a, I made myself a new desk for the she shed. It's pink and white and obnoxious and I love it. It's perfect for my she shed. It fits in there perfectly. So I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. Early on in the video, I say that I've seen it done lots with artist canvas. I've never seen it done with a desktop. Now I know why. Don't do it with a desktop. <laughs> Uh, when wood gets wet, it swells. And I knew that going in, but I didn't even, it didn't even occur to me that that would be a problem. So I poured all this paint on top and it is a lot of paint. Like it's a lot of liquid that goes on top. And I came back the next day and my desktop looked like this. It was a boomerang. It was bad. And it didn't settle down after it warps like that. So I did manage to get it flat when I screwed it down to the base of my desk, but it did crack. So it cracked really bad along the bottom. It cracked really bad along the edges. It didn't end up mattering because I framed it out with one by twos and then I poured epoxy over the whole thing. Just a clear epoxy and I'm not going to go over the epoxy process. It's very similar to how I did it on the countertop in the she shed. Um, I do want to do some epoxy videos coming up. So pardon me. So we will do that, but I'm not going to go over epoxy today. Today is literally just showing you how I did the acrylic pour on this desktop. It is a beautiful process done on artist canvas, and it was something I just wanted to try. I am going to try doing some artist canvas. We're going to do some for Maddie's room. We're redoing her room, and we're going with like bright colors and rainbow colors. So um, we're going to do a couple different ones for her room. So I will post pictures of those when they're done, but it's the same process pardon me, my coffee is coming back. It's the same process as I did on this desktop. So I hope you enjoy this video. This does work with most colors. You don't have to use pink, obviously. I just use pink because pink is life for me in the she shed. Everything in the she shed is pink, so my desk had to be pink as well. Uh, I hope you enjoy. As usual, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notifications bell, and if you have any suggestions for things you'd like to see in the future, just let me know. Send me a comment or send me a message and uh, I'll see what I can do. Enjoy. Hey all. So you're with me today in my paint room. Sorry if you can't see as well as you need to. My tripod broke. My second tripod broke. If you have any tripod suggestions, let me know. But I have you just duct taped <laughs> to a paint can right now. That's the level we're at right now. So I'm working on my new desktop for the She Shed. I have a desk in there. It's actually the same size as this desk. It's just a little desk. I don't have room for a big one, but I hate my desk in there. It's awful. It's like a, no, it's a beautiful old desk, but it doesn't suit the she shed at all. And I can't put my feet up on the little ledge because there's like a drawer and some cubbies and it's a whole thing. So I hate that desk. So I'm getting rid of it. I'm gonna make myself a new one. So I have this piece of, it was just a piece of pine. It actually was a scrap piece of pine from a failed project like two years ago. So I cut it down to the right size. This is already take two on this desktop. I had routed out rivers and put wax crayons in them and tried to melt the wax crayons and then I was gonna epoxy the whole thing. That was a fail. So now this is where we're at. I'm going to do an acrylic pour. I've been wanting to try an acrylic pour for a while now and I haven't had a project to do it on. So I'm gonna do it on my desk. Why not? I have never actually seen an acrylic pour done on anything except a canvas, so we'll see how it goes. I'm not scared of anything. So what we're using today is this product here, Floetrol. So I did bring a couple extra into the store. If you're local and you're wanting to try um, an acrylic pour, I did bring a couple extra bottles in. When they're gone and if you need some, let me know. I did order it just through our regular distributor at the store. So if you're not local, go and ask your building supply store if, he can get the, if they can get this. So there are a couple of different brands on the market, but Floetrol was the one I could get my hands on. So that's the one we're using. So in these cups here, I have some paint. Can you see? I don't want to tip it everywhere. So I got paint. I have four cups. You can sort of see them. I have four cups of white at the far end. And then I have four different pinks because it's the she shed. And I like paint this one. I don't know if I'm going to use this one. It's like obnoxious pink and I was going for a little bit more subtle in there, but maybe just for a little pop of color. And then I have like this maraschino cherry color, which is, I was looking for a red, but I didn't have a good red I liked or a dark pink. And then I have this, this is a boomerang paint. It is the 
what is it called? Millennium pink. This is what color the boards on my back wall in the she shed are. So this is like the soft baby pink that I already have in there. So all of these paints, I put some in here, uh, about, about this much of each paint. And then I added some Floetrol. So most of the paints were 50-50. The white was a 50-50. These pinks were 50-50 for paint and Floetrol. This obnoxious pink I used um, like the dollar store little craft paints and it was quite thick. So it actually ended up being like one part paint to like three parts Floetrol. You just want it to be sort of like a runny paint consistency. They say like warm honey, but I just think runny paint. If you can get a runny paint consistency, that's all you need. So you put your flow trowel in, you put your paint in, you mix it really, really well, really well. Another important thing to notice is I've tried to level this. It doesn't look level, obviously. You're not level either. But I tried to level this table because this paint is gonna run off of the sides. And I don't want it to all like run off of one corner. Pardon me. And I also put it on top of, uh, I just cut a garbage bag open to put underneath it. And then I put just a little scrap piece of wood um, on all four sides as to act a little bit like a dam to try and just hold all the paint in here. I don't know how much of a mess I'm gonna make. I guess we're gonna find out together. So I have painted my face white. Um, it's far from flawless, but I don't, I'm hoping it's not gonna matter. I'm hoping. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this white and we're gonna put it everywhere. I'm just gonna pour it all over the whole thing. You need a base coat to get started. Just let that do its thing. And then you grab your blow dryer. You don't need to get warm, you just need to blow the paint around. for right now I'm just gonna I just want to get it everywhere so I have a nice base coat of white on this whole thing doesn't have to be perfect So I'm just sort of taking that foamy and filling in like where there's little low spots. Now I've got a decent base coat. It's not smooth. Again, I don't think it really matters at this point. I think it'll level out. So now what I'm going to do, I want my design to run from one corner to the other. So just like a sort of a rivery line like this. I am going to start with... This medium pink here. So I added actually like I put a tablespoon of water to each of the colors just to try and dilute them down a little bit. Make them flow a little bit better. I'm going to use this medium pink color first. And I'm going to go. It'll be easier to pour this way. So I'm going to start at the top. I'm going to pour a line down the middle like so. And then... I'll add a little bit of this maraschino sherry color down the middle. Not as much because that's quite an obnoxious color, but not quite as obnoxious as this color is. I might do the baby pink actually. Baby pink, I'm going to go a little bit heavier because that is what the majority of the color in there already is. And then I'm going to do a very small line of the obnoxious bright pink down the middle. Like so. Now you're going to take your white. And you're going to run a heavy line down both sides. So, I told you this was messy. All right, then the fun part. I'm 
the blow dryer again. My poor blow dryer. It's got paint all over it now. I've been actually wanting a new blow dryer for my hair for a while, so this is a good excuse. So we're gonna start by blowing. I'm gonna try and blow that white over top of these colors, and then we'll blow it out. nasty glare um, I need a little bit of white here to fill in some of these holes a little bit of white at the top here to fill in some of these holes is that all my white? oh no there's some more there so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this white back on it's um, like the sloppy sloppy light hmm? what do I got going on here a mess that's what I've got going on here. Mm, it's okay. If there's ever an area you're not happy with, because there's so much paint on here, you can scrape it off and try again. Or if there's some spots like this that are quite harsh that I don't totally love, and you're just gonna come in here. I'm actually just gonna blow out that white first. I am going to come in and do an epoxy coat over top once it's dry but I'm pretty happy with this so far but if you get spots that you're not super happy with there's enough paint you just make sure your hair is out of the way that you can <laughs> you can feather out with your breath quite liking I love the way it ran over this side did it run over that edge the same yeah it did it missed the corner but I don't mind that I'll probably do the back corner anyway I'm quite happy with this I'm actually going to take you down off of there and I'll do like a close-up because there's some really cool little cells that happen when you do this that you can't see from up there oh yeah I'm going to blow this part out though oh man I'm going to get covered let's see if I can do it with the blow dryer cherry over here and over here. I don't have a ton in the middle, but I think I'm going to leave it. I'm pretty happy with the way it is right now. Okay, I'm going to take you down. I'm going to show you a close-up. 
So here's a close up so you can see all the little cells that develop in here. But it just looks like marble top. Again, out of pink. The colors aren't showing up quite the same on the phone as they are in real life, of course. But So this is going to take a couple of days to dry. And then I'm going to come back and do an epoxy coat over the top. See how it ran over the side? Love that. I think it looks amazing. It's going to be a beautiful desk when it's all done.